Hello, Tommy here from CodedBeats.com and today I'm going to show you how to mix rap vocals in dance pop songs and how to get a bigger reverb and a bigger sound in, in dance songs. You know, raps, rap vocals in hip-hop is kind of different from rap vocals in dance, dance songs and in pop songs. So today, that's what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we're doing everything in Pro Tools, so let's get to it. All right, so that's what I have. I have my rap main, my rap ad lips, and some some vocals out of background. So I'm gonna make everything inactive, so we can go ahead and I'm gonna walk I'm gonna walk you through the process and what I did exactly, and I'll play the whole song. I mean, this one applies to all the, I mean, to the chorus. If you have a girl singing a chorus, this tutorial practically was going to work for it. If you do the same process, it's still going to work for it. So, basically, this is kind of different from all my mixes. The, this mix is actually different because I have some, some stuff going on. All right. I'm going to mute all the other aux other buses okay and I'm gonna leave the master channel open on the master channel I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the process real quick on the master channel I have the stock uh, SSL and the makeup is around 0 around 1.1 threshold around 7.6 so you just copy these settings. With pop vocals, you don't pop uh, instrumentals. You don't want to crank the volume too high because it's already high when you know after it was you know produced. So this one I did not really crank the. You don't want too much compression. I have the ultra, um, the ultra um, maximizer here, and it does the job. Cranked it to ten point five. Threshold 10.5. I'll seal and I'll put it like negative two, because with pop vocals you don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna be around three or two, uh, around three and four where the vocals does not touch the ceiling of the speakers. You don't, want, you want everything to touch the ceiling of the speakers. So you make the out ceiling to like negative 0.2. Don't set anything here. For the IDR, just leave it at 16 bits to quantize. And that's it. And I have the uh, the loudness control um, from BX, uh, Bring It Works. It's called the T-Rex CS uh, uh, meeting system. So I use that on the master track. Let's go jump straight to the instrument. The instrument, I have a low air. Um, it makes the beat bigger and sound fuller and it, it, it puts some air into the beat so you might you might as well try to use it i use the settings you don't want to crank it too high and i i use the bf refinement plugin from brain works it does the job it, it kind of like put you know kind of like um decrease the harshness of the song so if you have a song that the kicks and the snares are too too kind of like too too smack into the ear. This 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 brain works software can the refinement plugin. This one can actually you know tone down the harshness in, in those in those sounds. So I use that on the B and I have a filter set to moderate. Um, that's my 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 style on that particular uh, beat. And I have a reverb on the beat. Just a little reverb. Uh, on the be a stereo ebook. All right, so let's jump into the vocals. The first things that I first thing that I did was I put a gate on it. I just want you to listen to the vocals without without anything. All right. Wow, wicked. Your body looks so amazing. 
came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell that you white or you pretty little mix. Where you wake your body and you do the twist. Make me want to put my middle finger in your pretty. All right. So uh, that's that's the vocals without without uh, effects. All right. So this plugin does pretty well. So you can see I was breathing here and there. This guy will tweak everything. All right. So this is a stock gate gate um, from from um, I mean the stock Pro Tools gate, the D3 stock Pro Tools spanner gate, and what I did actually is put it in a little bit down to like negative 20 the tack negative 40 the hold so according to you doing all these settings according to your um, your vocals how you recorded it and how the artist is breathing some artists want you to leave the breath in it but this one I wanted to clear it out clear, clear it all out so I don't go in to mute anything or we'll, uh, push down the breath all I do is use the this plugin so look at look at how it sounds with it wow wicked your body looks so amazing came in the club with your friends everybody so with an attack like crazy. with an attack to 6.1 okay you can see it jumps in and the breath comes in and it just it just muse the breath and it's 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 like magic you need this you need these same settings and it's gonna work i know if you use these settings it's gonna work just play with it release i already played with it so i already got everything set up wow wicked so this is what everybody looks so amazing came in the club with your friends everybody look at you like crazy and Damn. without and without okay I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell. That you so white listen to this part. We Damn. going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I Damn. <gasps> so that thing. And I'm going to put it on. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell. That you white or you pretty little mix. Where you with see so it kind of like it, it kind of like cuts it a little bit but it makes it a little bit makes it a little bit there you know what i mean so it kind of tames it down and cuts some off that's why that's why that's why i use this because you don't want to go in there and cut stuff cutting stuff and you're going to see the difference let me play it one more time because you might not see it you might not realize what it's doing that um so i want, I want, I want so you to amazing it. Came. See, amazing. See how it's so quiet. Take it off. Your body looks so amazing. See that, that those things. It takes it out. You want to leave a little bit of breath in there, so it cuts out um, those noises, the, those background noises and lips noises and stuff. All right. The next thing that I used was the R de Hesse. Um, I was trying to use a stock to hear, so, but I did not. I used this one, and look at what this does. Play it without. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. And this is wet. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. So if you could, if you could see here, let me clear it on the side chain so you can see what it's doing. Wicked. The range is on seven, so seven point negative seven point three though. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. Come on for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell. Bad pass. That you white or you pretty little mix. Where you wick your body and you do the twist. Make me wanna see. So it cuts it down a little bit. Ranges of seven negative seven point three. Threshold is negative twenty three point seven. You can find this what this this uh plug in. Um uh, when you come to dynamics, it's a dynamics DS. Uh the next thing that I did was 
people, I know people gonna ask me a lot of questions about this one, and how I did it. I cranked everything down. I cranked, I cranked almost all the the power from the vocals, and we're gonna put it back with another EQ. So, so this is how I cut it. Basically, cut all the voices like that. All the vo vocals in this song, I, I use the same EQ like that on it. So it helps, cause for for um, dance songs, you just want the clear part out. With with rap, you might need some of the bass, but with 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 a, with um, dance songs, you just need some. You just need the voice, the 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 real voice out. You don't need no bass or nothing like that. You don't you don't want the rap to sound different from the the female vocals you know chorus or something because the females don't really have a lot of bass so what i did i cut i cut all, all the bass out and that's the settings that i used so I, I i cut it out and came in the middle cut it a little bit and just but i left the frequencies in their same positions so you can see i left all the frequencies in the same positions and i cut a little bit you know around the AK level and I pushed all all the sibilance out to around like uh, 7 6k you know region to that level so the treble is actually hidden uh, 6k you're not hitting anything above 8k anything about you know 31 uh, K it's too, it's too you don't need that you don't need that so that's basically what I did on the EQ you can copy the sentence Okay, so this is where the EQ. Wicked, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends, everybody look at you like crazy. Without, Damn. without. Okay, I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up, we going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I can't really tell. You can say it's like, damn, I can't really tell. Yeah, that's how I wanted it to sound, because I want to... I've took all the air and all the bass and everything from it. You don't want to start tweaking and and you don't want to start pushing stuff up and you don't want to do that. You don't want to do all that. Cut it, cut it, cut a marginable uh, uh, amount of it from from the vocals. Cut all the lows because you don't need that in the uh, you know in a, in a, in a uh, dance song or in a pop song. All right, with a compressor. You know, stock um, instance compressor. I put it attack all the way up to like 1.20, release to like 158, threshold at negative 9.6, put a, a lot of gain on it, ratio to 3.9. Any compressor, if you put the ratio to 3, you good. You getting some, some good um, feedback. All right, so let's play it with a compressor. Wait, kid. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you. So you cut the EQ and you push the attack in front. Leave the release in the middle. Or you could you could come a little bit up. But I'll leave it at 158. So you pushing the vocals in front. Because we're gonna tweak we're gonna tweak the vocals again at the, with another EQ. So you're pushing the attack. And and because you've cut the lows, the voice is coming. It's coming. So, and you want to put the treasure like negative six, where you're getting all the eight nine, where you where you're getting all the vocals back. So that's what you're doing. You 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 pumping the vocals back. So what I did, because the vocals is pumped back, because we cut everything now. We've got a little bit of space left, so we're pushing the vocals with the compressor, and I put. Um, another EQ on it, and this EQ was the let's see the SSL the SSL EQ. All right. So what I did was I I I I brought back the lows. All right. So this is the lower session. I brought back the lows. Um, brought back the mid lows a little bit. I mean, I brought I brought back the highs. And you can remember I said 
I run AK. I I run the AK. I pushed it back to around 6k. I'm getting everything back with this solid state uh, EQ. All right. I pull down the mid lows a little bit, and and around um, 9k, I left it around 100%. All right. So basically, we getting all the vocal power back. Okay. So I treated the vocals with this EQ before before another EQ you know so this is kind of like getting after the compressor you are getting some vocals back and this SSL plugin is actually make you um, get get those vocal lost if you cut some vocals the, the little vocals left kind of pushes it back and sometimes when you mixing right you know think it think about it think of this you you doing you cooking in the kitchen all right if you put too much um, too much pepper, hot pepper or hot sauce, whatever, in your food, and you want to tame it down, you could put some tomato, whatever sauce, in it to cut it down. So that's basically how you, when it comes to music, it's the same thing. It's like you cooking something. So when you when you take out something, you want to replace it with something. It's gonna make it better. All right. So what I did is you want your levels to be good all right so with these levels you kind of lose some some volume here some volume I'm talking about how loud it is after these processes so uh, the technique that I use sometimes is I use the the vocal writer to bring back some vocals so I don't really put I don't I don't do that I don't do this put it in the middle no I I kind of I kind of bring it up above the zero margin to get some vocals back, and I don't play with a sensitivity or anything. I just leave it like that. Okay, so this thing kind of levels the volume for you before another EQ. All right. Wait, kid, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. I've been saying another EQ, another EQ, because the last EQ kind of gives you the tone that you want. So you don't want the tone on the first EQ. You want a tone on the last or the second EQ. Okay. So normally on the vocal, you need like two EQs. This one is like a dance song. That's why I'm using the other, the SSL EQ. I don't really use it that much because it cranks the volume too, up, too high. It makes it sound too too digital. And I want sometimes I want my vocals to sound natural. So my third EQ, that's the Renaissance EQ. See it? It's just a straight level EQ. And I bumped up around 5k. A little bit. If you do this, normally I do I use the around um 4k. But this time around, I used, I did around, uh, let's see, around the around, around 1K margin. So basically, this is what I did. This actually, this little settings that I did pushes the vocals up. It makes it, it, makes it sound like the rapper is singing, but he's not, you know. So it's like a cut through. Uh, um, finalize EQ. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to cut any lows because you already cut it. So you've cut it. So you're bringing it up, up. You're pushing it up. You can even push up the bass if you want to get some bass. And you're getting a clear bass because there's another EQ cutting some of the lows down here and bringing in a clearer bass. Okay, to do that if you want some bass. And I'll put the air enhancer on it. Put a highs, high gain at like 0 0.92 dBs, and you know play with the play with the lows and the highs, uh, custom with the lows, <coughs> and let's play it with the enhancer and the, the EQ. Wait, kid, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. So you see the enhancer kind of makes it a little bit wet. And put some, it gives some air to it. That's why it's called an air enhancer. 
it, it makes it a little bit wider and a little bit richer. The last thing was the uh, wave tuner. Or uh, if you have auto tune, you could put auto tune on it. Um, I, I needed a lot of auto tune on it, but I went with the nitro minor though. So uh, you you find the 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 tone of the instrumental, the the key of the instrumental, the key of the instrumental was G, uh, G sharp. So I did a nitro minor with it <clears throat> with the speed cranked to like nine. No transition, it was like 31 and ratio 87. I'm not doing anything crazy. I did not play with vibrato or anything. You don't need that on rap. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm going to hit the, the, the buses real quick. So, reverb, all right? So, this is the part of this I, I like. This is the interesting part. So, I have the the R, the R verb. And the, I'm, I'm showing you two techniques we could get this big sound. And look at this, right? Look at how it sounds after all the mixing. Wait, kid, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kid. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. All right. So we about to do something that is really serious. That's gonna change the beat entirely. Make it large. It's gonna make a large sounding. Alright. And you want that big reverb. A lot of people ask me questions. Hey Tom, how do you get that big reverb? <laughs> it's simple. Alright. Throw an R verb on it, alright? And use a factory default and play with the pre delay. In the fusion, I put it around 21.7. The reverb all the way up, all the way up, everything all the way up. Use a plate one and cut, cut around, around the 4K region. You don't really need that, so you cut that part. That region is already cut on the default, and just leave, just leave the reverb dampen like that. All right, response, just leave it like that. The size to like 64 according to how the instrumental sounds that's why i, I put the this same bus on the instrumental so that i can get you know the same feeling from the vocals on the beat all right, all right so let's listen to it with the reverb <sighs> sorry guys sorry guys early in the morning you can see 858 it's not a time that i <laughs> get up but well tutorial I gotta do it wicked your body looks so amazing see the difference see the difference all right <laughs> um, it's around negative 13 uh, if you want a lot more reverb you could put a lot more reverb on it but that's how I wanted it to sound wicked your body looks so amazing Came in the club with your friends, everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. I'm up for the whole day. So because I knew that I was gonna cut, I was gonna put a lot of reverb on the vocals. I know what the reverb does afterwards. So because of that reason, I I cut all the lows. I make sure I treat all the lows. I say goodbye, lows. Goodbye, bass. I don't need you. Because at the end of the day, if you put the reverb on it, you just want the highs. That's why I cut a lot of the highs. You know what I mean? No, I cut a lot of the lows and leave the highs. And even with the highs, you kind of tame it with an enhancer because you don't want it to sound like, eh, to sound too trebleized. I don't know if the English is, I use treble for the highs all the time. You don't want it to sound like that. Because at the end of the day, the reverb makes it to where uh, that the, the vocals is kind of like getting some 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 richness, all right. And you don't want the lows to affect that richness that is giving it, and, and it's enlarging the vocals, all right. You don't want to enlarge the bass section. Imagine a vocal with a lot of bass and a reverb. You're not getting anything through the mix. It's gonna sound weird, okay? 
So that's how you do it, and I'll make you listen to it again. Wicked, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends, everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. I'm off for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. So around, around, around 13, around 13, 12, that's the sweet spot. I wanna, you wanna, you want everything light between that 13 margin. You don't want to go up. If you using the R verb, using this sentence, you can use D verb. Okay, if you don't have D verb, put a decay to 199 high cut around here. Pretty late at night, five. Choose an ambient. All right, use these settings. Use these settings. You're gonna get the same, same effect. I right. play with it. But our verb is kind of potent with these kind of um, techniques. All right, so he did he did some odd lips. Um, I put a gay, the, the hisser, the whatever verb you can see it, same EQ sentence, whatever. But I did not put the SSL on it. Hit it another one. I did not put the SSL in. The SSL is muted. Did the same sentence. Reverb all the way up. Okay. So this is the difference. Okay. So this is another. Um, our lips that he did. Listen to it. Wicked, your body looks so amazing. <laughs> Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. Okay. I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. What a reverb. We, a we can do it all night to the next day. Damn. <laughs> I can't really tell that you white or you pretty little mix. Where you wake your body and you do the twist. Make me wanna put my middle finger in your pretty cake. Cake, cake. All right, you see, um, that one I put a lot of reverb. I could bring it down a little bit. Like I said, negative thirteen is the sweet spot. You don't want anything to bleed in it. And the same thing, he did another. Looks so amazing. <laughs> the same thing. Oh man, my alarm is blowing. Oh my god. I got you. So, if you put a lot of reverb on it, you're going to make the rap sync, okay? Because because you you kind of you kind of pull in the 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 rap, you don't want it to be short sounding. You pulling it to kind of mix. You want it to mix. You know, you want the vocals to kind of sync through the beat a little bit. That's why I put a lot of reverb on it to kind of push the beat and, and 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 because because vocals, you know what I mean, rap vocals, you don't you don't really tweak it that much. But when it comes to dance songs and pop songs, you want to you want you want to rap to sound a little bit different. So that's why I do that. All right, I have some delays, whatever. Stock delays, eight delay. I use eight delay a lot. Um Basically, I use the eight delay for the other vocals, rap delay. Um, I'm gonna show you this process. I did another thing that's the delay, right? So with the delay, you don't want to throw a delay on it like I did it with the. Um, I did it with the reverb. You don't want to throw a reverb on the bus track and say you're tweaking it. You want to tweak the delay. People don't really tweak the delay. Because they think it's sounding great in the in the mix. No, you want to cut some of the delays because you don't want phase issues. And a lot of these delay plugins create phase issues, right? So this particular delay was on the vocals, on the on on the singing the choruses. That's not on the rap um, vocals. So on the rap delay, let me show you what I did. Uh, I'm used to I use the long delay a lot because it's easy to use. Make sure you get the tempo of the song. If you don't know how to do it, play the song and just press tap on T. You're going to get it. You're going to get a tempo of the BPM of the song. Normally, I go with this settings. Click this, click that. Feedback, put it like 13 on the left. Put it like 17 on the right. Um, The LPF on the right side, you, you want it all the way up mix around 75 percent 
left makes around 100%. All right, leave the sentence like that. I'm gonna make you look at it just like that. Copy it, pause the video, copy it. And normally on the on the delays, I put another EQ on it, tweak it like an umbrella. <laughs> you just want to ups. You want you want every all the frequencies. You want the frequencies above zero to hit the delay. All right. So you want the vocals to sound a little bit up, up the ceiling. Okay. You don't want to you don't want to cut all the lows. Leave that. So that's the settings on the on the delay. So you just create a bus and throw that delay on there. You want to get that four tap delay on the on the rap. All right. So as you can see, this guy he um that's actually me though. He um he has the the he did some ad libs right. I did some ad libs, but one thing that I did again was um I put the delay on, and I think I went here to the level right. So the tap delay. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, mute. My bad, folks. Tab delay mute. All right. So you you want to use the mute function. You want to use the latch. So if you want to do automation, it's pretty simple. All right. Normally I use the latch and the touch. When you activate this, you go to the plugin and activate it. Okay. So how to create it is basically when you put the the bus on it, when you go to you create a track and put a buzz on it, you come to your vocals, right? And you come right here. Um, first things first, you gotta go to um, see the plugin. I always forget this process, but it's pretty easy though. You click on this, all right, and you choose what you want the 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 the, the plugin to do. So a long delay, and you add it. Click OK and add it. Okay. So any plugin that is, that has this, all you gotta do is click on that shit. Click on the click on that auto button. And add it if you want to use that feature where the plugin plays and you kind of latching and touching stuff kind of is gonna record everything all right this one I did not use it because I was just using the mute feature and automatically when you have it when you choose a plugin you have uh, these these things showing so you could play with the mute and the pan and the whatever so I did some automation and what I did was I, I just loop the words that I want okay so the words that I don't like I just mute it so that's basically what this automation is here about so look at look at with the with the delay just listen to it wow 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 wicked your body looks so amazing <laughs> so you can see came in the club with your friends everybody look at you like crazy, crazy. Damn. damn so you can see you can see when the delay pops in the tap delay um, this this button kind of like face bypass all right because this is an automation but look at how um, listen to how the the re the the, the delay kind of comes in kind of just just the end and worse but it makes it pop it makes it to like you know the rapper singing Wow Wow Wicked, your body looks so amazing. <laughs> Came in the club with your friends, everybody look at you like crazy. crazy. Damn. Damn. Damn, okay. I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up, we going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I can't really tell that you white or you pretty little max. Where you wicked your body and you do the twist. Make me wanna put my middle finger in your pretty cat. So you can see the delay and the rap. It's like he, you, you, you. He's rapping. He's kind of like it's like he's singing. I mean, that's what you want on a dance song. You don't want the you don't want the rap to be boring. 
So basically, I do that. And like I said, on the settings, you do the same. You're going to get the same effect. It's going to four tap the vocal. It's going to make the vocals repeat itself several times. So basically, that's what I did. Let's listen to the beat. All right. The beat is kind of like afro kind of beat. Just the beat. Let's mute the beat. All right. Wicked, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends, everybody look. So this beat was actually made in Logic. I made it. Wicked, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with. So you see how the song is. It, it applies to all it applies to all pop songs so you want your pop songs to sound that I mean I don't know how to put it but if you pop songs all pop songs actually have a lot of reverb and kind of sound a little bit fast and there's a whole lot of stuff in it so if you have beats like that you want rap vocals to pass through and cut through you 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 want you want that that reverb you want a lot of reverb even though it, you might have a beat that doesn't really have a lot of reverb in it but as a as a fat song is a fast song the fact that it's a fast danceable song you want to do that on the on the vocals to get it cut through okay so the basically if your beat doesn't have a lot of reverb just put a little bit of the the, the reverb the bust that we created just put a reverb on the beat and push it and push it up this beat already had some reverb because I knew that that's how I'm, I was going to mix it. So I did not really bother. I put all the reverb on the beat making stage. So this refinement program, like I said, <laughs> I call it program because it's, it's a sick, 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 um, you know, plugin. It's from Plugin Alliance. So check it out. So this is how the beat and the mix that we did sound okay i don't want to waste too much time it's got ended early in the morning my accent kicks in early in the morning <laughs> uh all right wow wicked your body looks so amazing came in the club with your friends everybody look at you like crazy damn damn okay I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We can do it all night to the next day. Yeah. I can't really tell. That you white or you pretty little mix. Where you wicked about it and you do the twist. Make me wanna put my middle finger in your pretty cake. Alright, that's it for today. My name is Tommy from CoolDeadBeats.com. If you want some more tutorials. And some more stuff, just go to cooledbeats.com. I got some beats over there, some old beats that I'm selling for a discounted price. Just go there and get it. For more tutorials, just subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to do another tutorial on the chorus and, you know, what I did. Male chorus and how, you know, the mixing is done. And, you know, how the stacking is done. All right. So, like I said, on the master track, there's the SSL, the L, the L3 Ultra Compress Maximizer, and the metering to kind of like you know put everything in a good level thanks for watching it's like you cooking something so when you when you take out something you want to replace it with something it's gonna make it better all right so what I did is you want your levels to be good all right so with these levels you kind of lose some some volume here some volume I'm talking about how loud it is after these processes so uh, the technique that I use sometimes is I use the the vocal writer to bring back some vocals so I don't really put I don't I don't do that I don't do this put it in the middle no I I kind of I kind of bring it up above the zero margin to get some vocals back and I don't play with a sensitive or anything I just leave it like that okay so this thing kind of levels the volume for you before another EQ all right
Wait, kid, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends, everybody look at you like crazy. I've been saying another EQ, another EQ, because the last EQ kind of gives you the tone that you want. So you don't want the tone on the first EQ. You want a tone on the last or the second EQ, okay? So normally on a vocal, you need like two EQs. This one is like a dance song. That's why I'm using the other, the SSL EQ. I don't really use it that much because it cranks the volume too up, too high. It makes it sound too too digital. And I want sometimes I want my vocals to sound natural. So my third EQ, that's the Renaissance EQ. See it? It's just a straight level EQ. And I bumped up around 5k little bit if you do this normally i do i use the around um 4k but this time around i used i did around uh let's see around the around, around 1k margin so basically this is what i did this actually this little settings that i did pushes the vocals up it makes it it makes it sound like the rapper is singing but he's not you know so it's like a cut through uh um finalized eq you don't want to do anything you don't want to cut any lows because you already cut it so you've cut it so you're bringing it up up you're pushing it up you can even push up the bass if you want to get some bass and you're getting a clear bass because there's another eq cutting some of the lows down here and bringing in a clearer bass okay to do that if you want some bass and i'll put the air enhancer on it put a highs high gain at like 0 0.92 dbs and you know play with the play with the lows and the highs uh custom with the lows <clears throat> and let's play with the enhancer and the EQ. Wait, kid, your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. So you see the enhancer kind of makes it a little bit wet, and put some, it gives some air to it. That's why it's called an air enhancer. It it makes it a little bit wet and a little bit richer. The last thing was the uh, wave tune. Or uh, if you have auto tune, you could put auto tune on it. Um, I, I needed a lot of auto tune on it, but I went with the nitro minor though. So uh, you you find the 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 tone of the instrumental, the the key of the instrumental, the key of the instrumental was G, uh, G sharp. So I did the nitro minor with it. Okay, I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I can't really tell. You can say it's like, damn, I can't really tell. Yeah, that's how I wanted it to sound. Because I want to, I've took all the air and all the bass and everything from it. You don't want to start tweaking and, and you don't want to start pushing stuff up. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do all that. Cut it. Cut it. Cut a marginable uh, uh, amount of it from from the vocals cut all the lows because you don't need that in the uh you know in a, in a, in a uh, dance song or in a pop song all right with a compressor you know stock um renaissance compressor i put an attack all the way up to like 1.20 release to like 158 threshold at negative 9.6 put a, a lot of gain on it ratio to 3.9 any compressor if you put the ratio to three you good you getting some some good um feedback all right so let's play it with the compressor wait kid your body looks so amazing came in the club with your friends everybody look at you so you cut the eq and you push the attack in front leave the release in the middle or you could you could come a little bit up but i'll leave it at 158 so you're pushing the vocals in front because we're gonna tweak we're gonna tweak the vocals again at the, with another EQ. So you're pushing the attack. And and because you've cut the lows, the voice is coming. It's coming. 
So, and you want to put the treasure like negative six, where you're getting all the eight and nine, where you where you're getting all the vocals back. So that's what you're doing. You 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 pumping the vocals back. So what I did, because the vocals is pumped back, because we cut everything now. We've got a little bit of space left, so we're pushing the vocals with the compressor, and I put um, another EQ on it. And this EQ was the let's see the SSL the SSL EQ. All right. So what I did was I I I I brought back the lows. All right. So this is the lower session. I brought back the lows, um, brought back the mid lows a little bit, and I brought I brought back the highs. And you can remember I said around AK, I around the AK, I pushed it back to around 6K. I'm getting everything back with this solid state uh, EQ. All right, I pulled down the mid lows a little bit, and and around um, 9k, I left it around 100%. All right, so basically we getting all the vocal power back. Okay, so I treated the vocals with this EQ before before another EQ. You know, so this is kind of like getting after the compressor, you getting some vocals back. And this SSL plugin is actually make you um, get get those vocal lost if you cut some vocals the, the little vocals left kind of pushes it back and sometimes when you mixing right you know think it think about it think of this you you doing you cooking in the kitchen all right if you put too much um too much pepper hot pepper or hot sauce whatever in your food and you want to tame it down you could put some tomato whatever sauce in it to cut it down so that's basically how you, when it comes to music, it's the same thing. Hello, Tommy here from CodedBeats.com. And today I'm going to show you how to mix rap vocals in dance pop songs and how to get a bigger reverb and a bigger sound in in dance songs you know raps rap vocals in hip-hop is kind of different from rap vocals in dance dance songs and in pop songs so today that's what I'm gonna show you guys uh, we're doing everything in Pro Tools so let's get to it all right so that's what I have uh, my rap main, my rap ad lips, and some some vocals out of background. So I want to make everything inactive, so we can go ahead and I'm gonna walk I'm gonna walk you through the process and what I did exactly, and I'll play the whole song. I mean, this one applies to all the, I mean, to the chorus. If you have a girl singing a chorus. This tutorial practically was gonna work for it. If you do the same process, it's still gonna work for it. So, basically, this is kind of different from all my mixes. The, this mix is actually different because I have some some stuff going on. All right, I'm gonna mute all the other aux, other buses. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the master channel open. On the master channel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the process real quick. On the master channel, I have the stock uh, SSL, and the makeup is around zero, around 1.1 threshold, around 7.6. So you just copy these settings. With pop vocals, you don't pop uh, instrumentals. You don't want to crank the volume too high because it's already high when you know after it was you know produced so this one I did not really crank there you don't want too much compression I have the ultra um, the ultra um, 
maximizer here and it does the job crank it to 10.5 threshold 10.5 i'll seal it and i'll put it like negative two because with pop vocals you don't want to you want to you don't want to be around three or two uh around three and four where the vocals does not touch the ceiling of the speakers you don't want, you want everything to touch the ceiling of the speakers so you make the out ceiling to like negative 0 0.2 don't set anything here for the idr just leave it at 16 bits to quantize and that's it and i have the uh the loudness control um from bx uh brain works it's called the T-Rex CS uh, uh, meeting system. So I use that on the master track. Let's go jump straight to the instrument. The instrument, I have a low air. Um, it makes the beat bigger and sound fuller. And it, it, it puts some air into the beat. So you might, you might as well try to use it. I use the settings. You don't want to crank it too high. And I, I use the BF refinement plug-in from Brain Works. It does the job. It, it kind of like put, you know, kind of like um, decrease the harshness of the song. So if you have a song that what it's doing, that um, so I want, I want, I want you so to listen amazing. to it. See, amazing. See how it's so quiet? Take it off. Your body looks so amazing. See, that, that those things, it takes it out. You want to leave a little bit of breath in there. So it cuts out uh, those noises, the, those background noises and lips noises and stuff. All right, the next thing that I used was the R dehisser. Um, I was trying to use a stock dehisser, but I did not. I used this one, and look at what this does. Play it without. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. And this is wet. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. So if you could, if you could see here, let me clear on the side chain so you can see what it's doing. Wait, kid. The range is on seven, so seven point negative seven point three though. Came in the club with your friends. Hit me up, we going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I can't really tell. Bad pass. That you white, show you pretty little max. Where you wick your body and you do the twist. Make me wanna. See? So it cuts it down a little bit. Ranges of seven, negative 7.3. Threshold is negative 23.7. You can find this what this this uh, plug-in. Uh, when you come to dynamics, it's a dynamics DSA. Uh the next thing that I did was people. I know people gonna ask me a lot of questions about this one, and how I did it. I cranked everything down. I cranked, I cranked almost all the the power from the vocals, and we're gonna put it back with another EQ. So, so this is how I cut it. Basically, cut all the voices like that. All the vo vocals in this song, I I use the same EQ like that on it. So it helps because for for um, dance songs, you just want the clear part out with with rap. You might need some of the bass, but with with with, uh, with um, dance songs, you just need some you just need the voice, the, the the real voice out. You don't need no bass or nothing like that. You don't you don't want the rap to sound different from the the female vocals you know chorus or something because the females don't really have a lot of bass so what i did i cut i cut all, all the bass out and that's the settings that i used so i i, I cut it out and came in the middle cut it a little bit and just but i left the frequencies in their same positions so you can see i left all the frequencies in the same positions and i cut a little bit you know around the 8k level and i pushed all all the sibilance out to around like uh 7 6k you know 
region to that level. So the treble is actually hidden. Uh, 6K, you're not hitting anything above 8K, anything above, you know, 31. Uh, okay, it's too, it's too, you don't need that. You don't need that. So that's basically what I did on the EQ. You can copy the sentence. Okay. So this is where the EQ. Wait, kid. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Without, Damn. without. The kicks and the snares are too, too kind of like, too, too smack into the ear. This, this. This brain works software can the refinement plugin. This one can actually, you know, tone down the harshness in, in those in those sounds. So I used that on the B, and I have a filter set to moderate. Um, that's my, my 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 style on that particular uh, beat, and I have a reverb on the beat. Just a little reverb uh, on the B, a stereo reverb. Alright. So let's jump into the vocals. The first things that I first thing that I did was I put a gate on it. I just want you to listen to the vocals without without anything. Alright. Wow. Wait kid. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. Damn. Okay. I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell that you white or you pretty little mix. Where you wake your body and you do the twist. Make me wanna put my middle finger in your pretty. All right. So uh, that's that's the vocals without without uh, effects. All right, so this plugin does pretty well. So you can see I was breathing here and there. This guy will tweak everything. All right, so this is a stock gate gate um, from from um, I mean the stock Pro Tools gate, the D3 stock Pro Tools spanner gate. And what I did actually is put it in a little bit down to like negative twenty. The tack, the negative 40, the hold. So according to you doing all these settings, according to your um, your vocals, how you recorded it, and how the artist is breathing. Some artists want you to leave the breath in it, but this one I wanted to clear it out, clear, clear it all out. So I don't go in to mute anything or we'll, uh, push down the breath. All I do is use the this plugin. So look at. Look at how it sounds with it. Wow. Wait, kid. Your body looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody so looking at you attack, like crazy. So, with attack to 6.1, okay. you can see it jumps in and the breath comes in and it just, it just mutes the breath. And it's, it's, it's like magic. You need this. You need these same settings and it's going to work. I know if you use these settings, it's going to work. Just play with it. Release. I already played with it, so I already got everything set up. Wow, wicked! So this is what everybody looks so amazing. Came in the club with your friends. Everybody look at you like crazy. And Damn. without, and without. Okay, I'm up for the whole day. Hit me up. We going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I can't really tell that you so white. Listen to this part. We Damn. going to kick. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn, I. Damn. <gasps> so that thing. And I'm gonna put it on. We going to kid. We could do it all night to the next day. Damn. I can't really tell that you white or you pretty little mix. Where you with? See, so it kind of like it, it kind of like cuts it a little bit, but it makes it a little bit, makes it a little bit there. You know what I mean? So it kind of tames it down and cuts some off. That's why. That's why. That's why I use this because you don't want to go in there and cut stuff, cutting stuff. And you're going to see the difference. Let me play it one more time because you might not see it. You might not realize. 